Now joining us, Professor Daniel Berry. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. So tell me, what are the current trends in orthopedics in the US? Well, it's interesting. In the last probably five to 10 years, there's been a lot of emphasis on refinement of procedures, which have been developed 15 or 20 years ago, but have been made quite a bit better. There's been an emphasis on being able to do more difficult, challenging procedures and do them safely. There's also been an emphasis on perioperative management. A lot of effort to try to minimize patients' risk factors going into surgery so that surgery can be done more safely with fewer complications. And quite a bit of effort to do a better job of managing patients after surgery with better pain management, better management of blood products and less use of blood products. And finally, there's been quite a bit of work done with large databases and publications to try to understand associations between problems, complications, and how to prevent them. Have there been some developments in the last year you recently hoped for, which came true? Yes, I would say that that's probably true. My field is hip and knee replacement, and probably the biggest change in hip and knee replacement in the last decade has been improvements in materials. Materials have gotten better, so we can now reliably tell younger patients that if they have a joint replacement, the chance of it lasting them many, many years, and perhaps even their lifetime, is drastically different than it was in the past. Have you noticed any differences in approach in other countries? Yes, of course, every country has things that they're working on. But I would say that one of the most interesting developments for me has been watching how technology diffuses much more rapidly around the world now than it did even 10 years ago. 10 or 15 years ago, something might happen in North America and Europe. It would not diffuse around the world for many years. Now it's measured in hours, weeks or months, but not years. So what will be the developments in orthopedics in the future? An excellent question. And we can see the future coming quite quickly. One thing that's happening for sure, very, very fast in North America, and I'm sure in Europe, is the digital environment is changing what we do in medicine. So we can see uh, artificial intelligence coming quite quickly. We can see machine learning coming quite quickly. We can see na natural language processing coming quite quickly. There's no doubt those developments will have a huge impact in diagnostics, in radiographic interpretation, and probably also in decision-making in orthopedic surgery. That's one area. A second area is improvements in technology in the surgery we actually do. So there is quite a bit of effort going into robotics right now. It's probably not fully developed yet, but it will get there, we can see in the next decade. And also in three-dimensional printing of objects and the ability to personalize the implants that we use, which is something we did not have in the past. Lastly, and maybe importantly, we see biology coming in orthopedics. In the past, it's been a lot of metal and plastic. In the future, it's going to be biologic. And we can see the seeds of regenerative medicine, the foundation of which has been built over the last 10 or 20 years, starting to bear fruit. And I'm quite sure over the next decade or two, we will see dramatic improvements in the biology of what we can do. And for the next generation of young people becoming doctors, will it be easier for them than for you? I think every generation has its challenges. And so now more information is available at the fingertips of younger uh, doctors and surgeons, but there's a lot more to know. And technology makes the pace of change quite quick. So every generation has its challenges.